Ladies and gentlemen, Lori Cardoza Moore with another update on what is happening in education. Um, for those of you who are familiar with our organization, Proclaiming Justice to the Nations, you know that we have been engaged and involved in exposing anti-Semitic, anti-American, anti-Judeo-Christian content um, in our children's textbooks, in their instructional materials, um, supplemental materials, including um, other uh, forms of information that teachers are downloading from the internet and exposing our children to. Of course, all the values that you and I were raised with, our children and our grandchildren are not going to be raised with those values. But I want to share with you, because one of the areas that we have been um, focused on over the last decade is Common Core, Bill and Melinda Gates, Pearson Publishers, McGraw-Hill, all of these people involved in education who are completely transforming our education system, not for the better, but for the worse. And we know that because look at what has happened over the last year in the United States of America. We have young people who are, um, are murdering people in the streets, attacking people, complete innocent people in the streets, defacing um, uh, uh, churches and synagogues, um, destroying public property, government buildings, tearing down monuments that are representative of our history. But now, Mr. Bill Gates, Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, is dabbling into mathematics because obviously um, his expertise supposedly in computers and technology um, has not only expanded to Common Core, which he's shoving all this garbage down our children's throats, but, um, and also, of course, the, the history revisionism that's in the textbooks for the agenda that he is pushing. Now he's gonna dabble into mathematics. And um, I, was, I just received this article about billionaire Bill Gates is interfering with mathematic teachings in, school, in, in schools in the United St States, considering the practices involved in teaching math is racist. So listen to this. Gates donated, now remember, many of you remember back in the 90s and the early 2000s, um, there was whole language, fuzzy math, um, you know, two plus two doesn't have to equal four, it can equal whatever you want it to. The point is, is how did you get to the conclusion or how did you get to your answer? But Gates, which is typical, um, he did it in Tennessee. He comes with a big check. In Tennessee, our governor, Bill Lee, Mr. Conservative, Republican, Evangelical, Christian leader, took $34 million for education in Tennessee. So I expect that we're gonna find this now. But Gates donated hundreds of millions of dollars to institutions that support critical race theory, which is also a, bunk, a bunch of garbage. It teaches hate. Talk about influencing racism. They say that we are a racist country and they are breeding racism with critical race theory. But the idea that US political and economic institutions are inherently racist. And this is according to the Washington Free Beacon, an, this article that came out on February 17th. Gates money funds several organizations associated with pathway to equitable math instruction. This is a new one. A group of 25 educational organizations that argue asking students to show their work and find the correct answer is a sign of racism. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, expecting our children to do their math, add, subtract, multiply, divide, yes, it could be a sign of racism if you are required, if your child is required to show the correct answer. They also argue that the concept that mathematics is purely objective is unequivocally false, and that focusing on the right answer to math equations is an ex example of white supremacy. Yes, no ladies, you can't make this stuff up. These, teaching, these teachings changes specifically, these teaching changes specifically target the black, Latino, and multilingual students in grades six, seventh, and eighth. This is our middle school kids. These are the most imp important years, the most impressionable years. The initiative comes as a response to the country's protests and riots last year, 
which accused U.S. society of racism. Well, excuse me, if I remember what happened with the riots, it wasn't being um, influenced by the people in the community, it was being influenced by the thugs that were destroying our communities while their elected officials, their mayors, their county commissioners, their governor told the law enforcement to stand down, let these kids destroy everything. This is, now we're being accused of race, being racist. Hmm. The Pathway published five guidelines to help secondary school teachers detect when students use white supremacist practices that allegedly cause student underachievement. No, ladies, this is the garbage that our children are being exposed to in our public school education. And of course, all of these states and their departments of education and their governors who took this money from Bill and Melinda Gates, they are required to teach this propaganda to our kids, to indoctrinate our kids to hate America. And not only to hate America, but to become underachievers. Instead of telling them, sorry, when you get into the real world, you do have to, two plus two does equal four. I'm sorry, you can't change it. You can't make it what you want it. You can't dream up what you think the answer is. There are yes and no questions. There are right and wrong answers. And teaching this to our kids, what does it do for our kids? Is it making our country a better country because we're educating our children? No, it's destroying our country. School districts and state departments of education across the country plan to implement the pathway guidelines in their institutions. So ladies and gentlemen, you need to be going to your school board meetings. You need to contact your local school board member and ask, are we adopting pathway published curriculum for our children in our local school district? And if they are, you need to go to your state legislature. You need to show this, this um, garbage to them to show them what they're teaching our kids. We are only hurting the future of this country by destroying our children's minds and not teaching them correctly. It's not just history, ladies and gentlemen. Now they're pushing it even into, into math. The program then, of course, sets monthly goals. So they're gonna, they're gonna be monitoring every school district that adopts this curriculum especially if they took the money, if their governors took the money. In November, educators must review how they authentically include minority and multilingual students in math class. Why do we have to have different variations of people from different walks of life in math? Why aren't we just adding and subtracting, multiplying and dividing, doing our algebra? I don't understand. Um, in May, teachers will evaluate how they Quote, dismantle power structures in the classroom. What? Dismantle, dismantle power structures? Is that power the teacher? Um, is that what they're trying to dismantle? The authority of the teacher? Because all of these students, they're all students roughly about the same age. They're all peers. Um, they're all, they live in the community. However, this approach to education is not limited to mathematics, and you know we've talked about that with history. The North Carolina Board of Education approved a history curriculum that will teach second graders how, quote, diverse, indigenous, religious, gender, and racial groups advocate for freedom and equality. Likewise, the fourth graders will learn how revolution, this is your fourth grader, revolution, reform, and resistance shape the state. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what's happening to our country. This is why you have heard me say over and over and over again, we have to take local, back local control of our children's education by starting with the school boards. We have to be engaged in what's happening on our local level in our county commissioners. We need to know what our mayors are supporting. We need to know what our governors and our state legislatures are adopting to teach our children. We have to be paying attention because the only way we're gonna take back this nation from this chaos and lunacy is when you and I, we the people, get involved and take back local control of our community. If you like this message, please share it. Share it with family and friends, send it out to your email list, post it on social media. Ladies and gentlemen, Pathways 
published content is coming to a classroom near you. Unless you and I rise up and say, not on my watch and definitely not in my neighbor neighborhood or in my state. So reach out to me if you find this content being used in your schools, we wanna hear from you. I wanna hear from you. I wanna help mobilize you. If you are interested in organizing and mobilizing your community, please email me at info at pjtn.org. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, we can't do what we do without you. I also need not only your participation, but your financial support. Please consider becoming a PJTN watchman because you, as a watchman, have just been informed about how the enemy is advancing in our neighborhoods and in our community. And we're reminded in the book of Ezekiel that if the watchman warns the inhabitants of the city of an enemy that is advancing and the inhabitants refuse to listen and take heed, then if there's any innocent bloodshed, it will re be required of that watchman. But if the watchman warns the inhabitants and they refuse to take action, if anything happens, it will be on their head. We have been warning our, our friends, our supporters around the world, and parents and citizens are starting to take back local control of their communities. Whether you're here in the United States, in Australia, South Africa, Canada, people are getting informed and they're getting mobilized and engaged in this process. So we can't do it without you. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. And thank you so much for all you do on behalf of our Jewish brethren, the state of Israel, and these United States.